Good afternoon. This is Prophet West. We are coming back to you briefly, and I am going to be brief, but I, I am excited today. I'm excited today. And what I want to do, there's a word of encouragement that I wanted to uh, drop into someone's spirit quick, fast, in a hurry. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be long. I'm not going to be long at all. Me and Emily, we want to come encourage you in the Lord. And we wanted to drop a word of encouragement in your hearing. And this word is going to be brief. Give me about uh, eight to ten minutes. And I, I want to encourage you. And when I release this message, do me a favor. Share this message because someone uh, needs to hear this message. And as I was pondering and as I was meditating, the one particular, hello, Lucita. Uh, one particular passage of scripture, uh, parable that came to mind was, uh, was the sword of the seed, but one in particular was when the seeds fell by the wayside. And the Bible says that uh, because the word wasn't buried deep under the soil, when the cur when, when the cares of this world came and the, and, the, and the troubles of this life came, it choked the word and the word was taken away. And so some of you, you've heard the word, you've heard the word, word but because that word hasn't been nurtured, and because that, that word has not been buried deep into the soils of your, your heart, into the soils of your, your mind, and into the soils of your spirit, uh, things, troubles, disappointments, uh, setbacks, and problems have come and has t taken and snatched that word out of your spirit. And so what I want to do, the Bible says that there are some that water and there are some that plant. But it's God that gives the increase. So what I'm going to do, I am going to plan again. I'm going to plan again. I'm going to speak again. And I'm going to keep speaking and speaking and speaking. And, and speaking and speaking. And God is the one that's going to give the increase. increase and he's going to the one that's going to be the one that may cause it to grow. And so if you saw my title, it says that this too shall pass. This too shall pass. That means that, that, means that whatever you're dealing with, you have faced it before. Whatever you're encountering right now, you are facing it. You have faced it before. It may not be as difficult and it may not be as large, but you have encountered something before wherein you needed God to show up. Wherein you needed God to help you and bring you out to deliver you. And so that's why I come to tell you that this too shall pass. And see, I want you to go back into your mind, go back into your mind. Now in your situation, in your painful situation, in your dilemma, in what you're facing. Now go back in your mind, go back in your mind. Don't look, don't, don't look at what you're dealing with right now, but go back in your mind and go back in your mind and remember when you were in a situation and remember when you needed God and remember when, how you felt and how things that felt like the, everything was crumbling around you. But do you remember that God brought you out? He brought you out then. That's why I said this too. That means that it's happened before. And see, I come to tell you that God has brought you out before. He has delivered you before. And look at you now. He's placed your feet on the street called straight. Some of you, the devil attack your mind. Wherein you thought you was going to lose your, you thought you was going to lose your mind. You thought you was going to go crazy. Matter of fact, you thought you was going to have a nervous breakdown because pressure had got so severe and upon you so heavy. The load was so tough. You didn't know if you were going to make it. You didn't know if you was going to survive. You didn't know. You didn't know. And even at night, there were times even at night when you lay down at night. It's when everything was quiet around you. It seems like that's when things got noisy in your mind. Troubles. Your problems, the thing that you were dealing with got noisy in your mind and it was tough. It was tough. You cried on your pillow. Your pillow was so wet. Your pillow was so wet from the tears ah, because 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 of the pressure. It was so difficult because of the tears, because of the pain that you were feeling. And you were at a place wherein you felt like no one understood. Nobody understood what you were going through then. But you remember then, God came then. In your midnight hour, he came then. And he answered you. He brought you out. And now, and now, and now he's giving you the strength. He's giving you a testimony over and on what you've been through. And so now we're facing it again. You're facing something again. You're facing something again. You are discouraged. 
you were discouraged. You, 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 you believe God. You believe God. You do believe God. But you're saying in your spirit, Lord, help my unbelief. That place where I don't believe God, that place where I'm a little shaky, that place, God, God, that I need you the most, God, that place, God, when I'm a little wobbly, that I'm a little weary, God, at that place, at that place, I need you, God. And so this is you. This is you. You need him. You need him right now. You need him right now. And I come to tell you that this too shall pass. God is going to show up like, just like he did uh, before because he's the same yesterday today and forever. He can do it. He can do it. He did it yesterday. He's going to do it today. And so I come to tell you to look up and live for your redemption. Draw off nigh. Look to the hills because your help, your heels from the hills. That's where your help come and your help comes from the Lord. So I come to tell you that God is going to bring you out again. This too shall pass. It doesn't matter how bad it looks. It doesn't matter how bad the winds are, are, are blowing. It don't matter how uh, high the billows are raging. It doesn't matter how difficult. It don't matter how storm, the how, how high the tide is, how high the waves are that you're facing in this particular situation that you're facing. But I come to tell you, if you put your hand in him, if you trust God, he's going to take you over the top. Before he'll let you go under Peter. Peter was in this place. Peter was in this situation where in, where in storms were around jumping and, 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 and blowing and, and all of that. But he saw Jesus. He saw Jesus on the water, walking the water. And he said, God, if it be you, bid me to come. And the word told him to come. And so I come to tell you in your in your storm, in your storm, in your in your high in your high tide, in what you're facing, in the troubles that you're facing, it's becoming high. It's trying to drown you out. It feels as though. But I come to tell you, keep your eyes on the word and the word is saying, come, keep your eyes on the word and God will keep you afloat. He will keep you atop. That's just like in a boat, in a boat. And see, as long as the water stays out the boat. The boat is going to the boat is going to be able to sail and the boat is going to be able to float. But once the water begins to get into the boat, that's when the boat will begin to sink. And so your, your boat is your faith. Your boat is your trust. Now, water is all around. You're on the ocean. You're on the oceans of troubles. You're on the oceans of discouragement. You're riding on the oceans of pain and hurt and, dis and, 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 and incur discouragement. You're on that ocean. And the thing that's keeping you afloat is your faith. And so, and the word, and the word is saying, come, the word is saying, come now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And so God is saying, come, God is saying, come, keep your eyes on him, keep your eyes on him. And he will not, he will not lead you astray. He will, he will not cause you to fall and he will not cause you to go down. And so I come to tell you again and close it and close it and close it. I just want to speak to someone. I just want to encourage someone in their ears. I want this word to get into their ears and ring in their ear. Let this word ring into your ears. And once this word ring into your ears, it's going to activate your faith. Once this word e e uh, ring in your ears, it's going to activate your promise. As long as this word, when this word ring in your ears, it's going to activate your anointing and you're going to find yourself getting up for those that feel weak and those that feel, uh, feel down. That word is going to give you strength for those that feel sad. This word is going to become happiness to you. And those that are walking in a dry place, you're in a dry place. You're walking in a dry place. You're walking in a dry place. There are many times when you thought, when you thought that that was, it was going to be an osis, but then when you got close to it, it was only a mirage and it was difficult. You're about to go down and you're about to give out of thirst. You're about to give out, give out and give over. But I come to tell you, I come to tell you this time, this time is going to be an oasis. This is not an optical illusion. It's real. It's real. This too shall pass. This pain is going to pass because it has an expiration date. It is. There's an appointed time. There's an appointed time. And in the end, it's going to speak and it's going to be over. And so I come to tell you again in closing, in closing, in closing, this too shall pass. God bless you. Heaven smile on you and may all God's best be yours. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. He's going to take you over the top. As long as you keep your eyes on him, have faith in him, have trust. Don't doubt. He's going to take you over the top. If you keep and not waver, if you, if you stay, if you stay steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, know that your labor is not in vain. It's not in vain. Your suffering is not in vain. Your pain is not in vain. Uh, your, your hurts, uh, the things that you go through, because when you suffer, you're being knitted to him. You're being knitted in his likeness. You're, you're going in, in the fellowship of suffering that you may be resurrected and that you may, uh, that you may feel it, uh, be, be, uh, in his likeness, in the power of his resurrection. He's going to bring you out. He's going to bring you out with a new testimony. In other words, God is changing. God is changing your story. He's changing your tomb. 
and he's changing your song. He is. He's changing it. He's changing it. He's changing it through your storm. He's changing it through your pains. He's changing it through what you're dealing with. He's changing it. And he's working out. Matter of fact, he's going undercurrent. You can't see it, but he's doing it. He's going undercurrent. He's working the stuff out. He, he's working. While you're trying to figure it out, he's working it out. He's working it out. He's working out those those secret things. He's working out those things that you pray for. He's working out those heart's desires. He's working them out. He's working out. So all I say to you is to trust him. Trust him and trust his word and, and allow his word to draw you because this too shall pass. God bless you.